Welcome Aquarius to your bonus love reading for March. If you are new to my channel, welcome to Charlie Tarot and feel free to subscribe. Now if you are new here, um, how we do things is we are going to use the AF Tarot deck to for the surrounding energies. That's this card right here. Uh, we are going to use the Soul Cards Tarot deck. Uh, and then after that, we will clarify. And at the end of the reading, we'll go ahead and pull some messages of love oracles to see how this person feels about you and what they have to say. All right. So I am going to go ahead and shuffle this card, this deck. Let's get one more here. Okay, so we are going to get into the present situation, how this person uh, feels, how it's affecting you and them, the challenges, um, the mutual energies, their feelings and actions, and how it's going to, you know, de affect the immediate future and the future outcome, right? The potential outcome. So let's see. I'll shuffle this one more time. All right, I'm going to pull the cards out like this. See what comes through. Yeah, you're coming up as the goddess of the deck, which is beautiful. We do have the Empress in reverse with the Eight of Coins and the Five of Swords. We have the Seven of Swords coming in with the Four of Wands and the Lovers in reverse. So, wow. Okay. Keep in mind, this reading may not resonate <clears throat> with every single one of you, so please take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. There is some type of argument if someone got you very upset here. We do have the Seven of Cups with the Ten of Wands in the challenge with the Empress once again. So you are coming up very, very awesome. Okay, the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We do have the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, somebody does feel like they are rushing in or... or um, wanting to come towards you here queen of pentacles ten of swords queen of cups the moon the ace of wands okay what a frustrating energy you're dealing with i do feel like yes this was some type of betrayal that possibly happened either in the past present or something you're coming out of and I do feel like this is what caused the separation. There could have been some things happening behind the scenes here, um, maybe with your husband, right? Or someone that you were talking to and had a really strong emotional bond, maybe father of your kids, mother of your kids, um, where things are going stagnant. Hmm. Uh, someone could be dealing with the Cancer Scorpio Pisces, yes. But something was happening behind the scenes. Um, the lovers again is a separation so something was very hurtful so you've been through the ups and downs this is more of a very resilient energy here Aquarius stating that you um, there's a lot of growth of you overcoming a lot of challenges and trials in your life and I feel like uh, even though these things could be really hard when being faced and there's a, again it, it's you still pushing through I do feel like your guard is up when it comes to this person. I don't feel like you're just going to let anybody in, right? Um, I do feel like there's a need of wanting to let go of the situation um, because it does feel like you're giving up on something here. The Ten of Wands is saying the final push, right? But it also is stating like, don't give up. The Eight of Rings is more stating that there is a lot of effort being put in the situation. The Five of Swords is there's not a lot of mental conflict. Now, when the Five of Swords comes into the reading, this is a lot of frustration. This is like arguments and conflict. Um, this other person could be feeling very confused with the Seven of Cups, maybe having other options for some of you, a third party. Again, this is feeling very hard ending here, as you could be going in and out of emotions. Um, I feel like this person is rushing in or possibly did something very impulsive and now they want to rush in because they're wanting some type of victory with you. So the immediate futures does show the six of wands. The queen of wands uh, does show a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So let's go ahead and clarify and get more into the reading. Yes, I do feel like they are wanting to send you a message. They're very determined to come towards you. Um, now, sometimes this energy may not follow through from what they say, but they are very curious and it's a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius for some of you guys, strong Aries. Let's get this five of wands energy. A 
lot of obstacles and delays when it comes to moving forward or going or thinking about the future with this person okay three of wands in reverse is a very hard energy because it's all about progress and moving into the right direction um, but this also could be waiting for some type of results but i i do feel like there's delays and a lot of blockages about moving forward here with this person yeah, I feel like you're in the process of taking your power back and you're kind of mastered this situation, I feel. Mm. You could be very cold or even cut this person off, okay? Because the Queen of Swords is seeing very, very clear, really doesn't believe what this energy is saying anymore. So even though there's a message coming in, it could be feeling like I don't, I, I'm too hurt to talk. I don't believe in what you say. I kind of like just want you out of my life. That's the feeling I'm getting. Um, because there is some type of truth in clarity. And I feel with the justice card, there's a lot of choices as in weighing out the options, right? Balancing your mind, body, and soul, trying to uncover a deeper understanding of yourself and this in situation. So for whatever reason, this, this choice I feel is very difficult and you could be very upset right now um, to where you're feeling like this person is being very unfair or has done something that is very unfair. Now, also this is about you being fair and having morals okay and all a lot of respect for yourself so i do feel like this person knows that they cannot mess with you that you are smart smarter than them i do feel like this is an immature energy who needs a lot of growing to do because you are an empress you are the goddess of the deck you are uh, nothing but love abundance and you're unconditional okay it's a very wise individual i'm dealing with um let's get the uh king of cups They are reviewing everything, okay? They could be thinking about how they treated you, looking at text messages, more of self-evaluating. Uh, self this also is keeping some type of stock on the situation. I do feel like this person wants to come towards you, but more strategizing on how to come towards you. They could be coming in more of loving and compassionate, right? Kind of will you in with their words and their comforting charm. Um, but I feel like you're just so upset at this time. Let's see. Because we already have the Ten of Swords. So again, I'm thinking that or feeling that this is more of a cheating situation. Hmm. Curiosity, restless mental energy, page of swords. Someone is definitely spying here. Very curious to come in, but they're coming in as a page. So when the page of swords is here as as a messenger. Um, this is more of saying a lot, right? Um, but not really putting any action. It's kind of like a, like they use their words recklessly. The queen of wands in reverse usually means third party. This also can mean another woman is involved or was involved, which caused this separation to happen. Maybe this was communication. I feel it was enough to want to cut this person off, whatever they did. Ooh, I love this. Okay, okay. Now it's getting good, really good. You're coming in super strong. I knew it when I saw this Queen of Swords, Aquarius. You're seeing through this energy, and this energy knows it. They are so intimidated by you because, again, they're viewing you as someone not to be messed with. You could be putting this person in their place and really protecting your heart here, right? So I do feel like you are taking your power back and you are being recognized by how strong you are by others, even though you might not see it. The um, Six of Wands is showing there's some type of victory that is coming in. And I feel with the Justice card, yes, this could be a separation or a final divorce or however, but I do feel is that you mastered the situation completely. Uh, you are just a, a very smart, intelligent person. Again, all about choices here and doing the right thing for you. This is a lot of self-love I feel Aquarius has and was really betrayed by an individual. Yeah, you're coming out of the situation. It's like you releasing the devil. Wow. Wow, this outcome is like huge. The devil is playing it's playing a big role in this whoa. Okay. Now, the devil represents manipulation, money, sex, power, pleasure, right? It's about unhealthy habits, desires, false promises. This could be feeling like a, a toxic path. 
I could be at times of feeling tempted to go back and forth with this person, but I feel now is that since you're seeing clearly, you're accepting the situation, you're seeing things for what they are, right? I feel now you're releasing, you're freeing your mind from the toxicity, you're releasing and restoring control of your life. All right, so I feel like this is a, a, a card of freedom. The Ten of Swords, no, it's never easy. The Ten of Swords is very hard to be in. And so it's more of showing me that this is a painful ending where someone is refusing to change. And I feel it was this person. Um, so this was like holding on to, this person could be holding on to old ways of thinking or you could be releasing old ways of thinking about this person or situation. And I feel like this is more of your person needing to address some issues within themselves, okay? Now for you, this can feel as if you felt betrayed in some way um, and experienced some type of loss where you could be healing, but this card does represent resilience, okay? 10 of swords represents resilience. So um, whoever I'm connecting with, I'm telling you, you're very strong. You've been through some stuff uh, and I feel like you may be still healing as the 10, it represents completion. So this is a, a very important message for you, Aquarius, that you are resilient and a very strong person and your angels do realize that, okay? They see everything here. Um, so let's go ahead and see what this uh, person has to say. So I do feel like it's a uh, time for healing, okay? Yeah, this person sees your, them you in their life for long term. And I feel that's where they got it all wrong. Is that they saw you for life term. So they feel like they had you wrapped around their, your finger in some way. And that is very upsetting to see. Because you're coming up so loyal and loving and open hearted and genuine and with pure intentions. And this person is very dark inside uh, to where they messed up. Thinking you're going to stay this whole entire time. So that's where I feel is that that card. Ooh, that's a tricky card. You deserve better than me. I feel you. So they could be feeling your energy. Uh, we have fights, arguments, and conflict. Mm -hmm. So again, strong energy. Please be patient with me. I gave in to temptation. It's always your choice in the end what you what you want to do. Nothing is said and done with tarot, but this was a very big betrayal. Feel it, you shut down on putting any more effort as you could be more of taking a step back and you know looking at the bigger picture. Um, healing from a, a, all of this chaos, right? Um, whatever was draining you or heavily on your mind, I do feel like you are taking a step back. Um, I feel like the main goal of this whole reading is self-love and to take care of yourself first. Let's go ahead and get a Lovers of Oracles for you. Well, I love yellow for some reason right now. <laughs> Such a pretty color. If you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind, for the heart is a gateway to the soul. Now it says reflection, give each other some space at the moment, trust and have faith that it'll all work out for the best. Now what this means is it will all work out for the best for you, for you, okay? The best interest for you. So um, very big messages here for Aquarius. I am gonna go ahead and leave it here. I really hope you guys enjoyed this reading. If it helped or brought any clarity in any way, please, please like and subscribe and I will see you guys in April. God bless.